in this step we will drop the mid side node so that we get q4 elements rather than q8 elements so uh, first let's double check that you know indeed um, there are the mid side nodes so to do that um, first zoom into the the left side by holding down the right mouse button and uh, drawing a box and then you can release the right mouse button and so you're zoomed in there and um, instead of so go in here and say select mesh which means now you can select uh, nodes which is a mesh entity and instead of doing in the select mode do box select And then um, go in here and with the left mouse button, draw a box like that. And so that'll highlight all the nodes in that box. Okay. And so you see that for this element, for instance, you not only have the corner nodes, but you also have the mid side nodes, i.e. you have Q8 elements. And so next, what we will do is we will drop the mid-side nodes. And, and uh, noting that in reality, you would do this only if you had a compelling reason to do so, because it also reduces the order of accuracy of your solution. So in order to drop the mid-side nodes, highlight mesh in the tree and go to advanced in details of mesh and uh, expand that and under element mid side nodes um, click on this program controlled uh, item and select dropped from the drop down menu and update the mesh and let's check that the mid side nodes have been dropped so um, draw a box like that um, with the left mouse button um, but before that this has gone back to select geometry so you need to um, do select mesh otherwise it won't select the nodes so let me try that again now so let me draw a box like that. And so now it selects the nodes, and you can see that the corner nodes have been, uh, the mid side nodes have been dropped, and we just have the corner nodes, i.e., Q4 elements. Um, so let's zoom out, zoom to fit, um, go back to select geometry, and go back to single select and save the project.